everybody. Mm -hmm. So you know who this is really going to annoy y'all. <laughs> and I hate to tell you, but he got a big discount yesterday after. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> after an appeals court lowered his bond from 464 million to 175 million. He's also the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges when he goes on trial April 15th for alleged hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. But here's what he said outside the courtroom yesterday. Do we have to look at him again? I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money that was put on by a corrupt judge named Ngoran. In the case of the trial that we just left, one of the many that are going, every single one of them is run by Biden and his thugs. We have a man who just uh, ruled they'd like the trial to start in 21 days or something. And I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Yeah. <laughs> well. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. He's also saying the criminal trial could make him more popular. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of his base is going to side with him no matter what. Yes, that's probably true. But is this going to make him more appealing to uncommitted voters? Oh, he's got another trial. I'm going to vote for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How is that going to work? I guess it makes them feel like they're victims. Like he's a victim. They're victims. It's like all of that. But it's 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 like uh, he's got how many? 80, 80, 88 uh, criminal charges across four different jurisdictions. I mean, the only thing the guy hasn't done so far is shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue. Right. Like right. he said he could do. Yeah. He's gotten, he's done every crime now, and he's running for the presidency of one of the great countries of the world. Just let that sink in for a second. Yeah. Well, and there's this myth out there that somehow these trials are going to make him win him over more voters and there's going to be sympathy. I reject that as a Republican because, yes, his base is going to be with him mm -hmm. and they're going to vocally defend him. Mm -hmm. But to this sort of 30 percent, call them the Nikki Haley voters or the somebody other than Trump Republicans, there is no way hush money payments to Stormy Daniels or this fraud case in New York are going to make them more sympathetic to him. I find it to be just complete lunacy. But I'm thinking about something else right now related to this. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump, aside from his general unfitness, is destroying the Republican Party. So right now, the RNC has $11 million cash on hand. How much did it have this time in 2020 when he lost the election? $77 million. Joe Biden's out raising him two to one. Yes. And the Democrats and Biden have three to one money cash on hand. Yeah. So if you're a down ballot Republican candidate, you're running for Senate somewhere, you're running for the House, yeah. how are you not angry? There's not going to be money there to fund your race. It's paying Trump's legal you, bills. You, you should be angry. And, you know, I will say this, and I think it'll surprise people, um, the fact Hold that his bond... Hold on. Sir. What's I have to I have to stop you with the camera because oh. I can see you. So do me a favor. Don't pull it out again. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was he doing? Recording. Oh. Um, so I, as I was saying, you know, I think this will surprise people, but um, the lowering of the bond was very appropriate, right? We always say that we want everyone to be treated across the legal spectrum in the same way, and that we want the law to apply equally in the yeah. same way. Bonds are not supposed to be punitive. They are only supposed to make sure that the person returns to court and answers, you know, whatever charges have been mm -hmm. alleged. Mm -hmm. He does have a, a valid appeal, as far as I can tell. It mm -hmm. seems like he has a valid basis to appeal. And so what this judge said is, I'm going to take $175 million mm -hmm. instead of over $400 million mm -hmm. so that you can continue your appeal, so that you can continue living your life and doing your business. But if, to be clear, if he loses that appeal, they get to keep that $175 million, mm -hmm. and then he got to pony up with the rest of the money. Mm -hmm. oh. So this is how it is supposed to work. Mm -hmm. This is oh, due good. process. Thank you, Sonny. I'm comfortable with yes. Good. Well, you know, listen, better. as long as he gets treated like everyone else. Yes. In this case, he is. I'd like everyone else to be treated as well as he's being treated. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> yes. You know. Mo moment going forward will be the April 15th criminal trial. Yes. Because I do think that all this money in exchange, it's, it feels day to day and there's like a minutia and a numbing to watching it mm -hmm. play out. But there are a lot of numbers. 51% of Republicans said that they would not vote for Trump if he becomes a convicted felon. And 
44% of independents said the same thing. And I think even though we've seen the E. Jean Carroll case and the fraud case... I do, civil cases, they're I, not criminal. They're civil and not criminal. Mm -hmm. I do think the criminal case is going to <laughs> affect that middle yeah. ground of and undecided. Your, and to your point, Sarah, and I think it's a really important one, people do make a distinction in their minds between, oh, well, he owes money, as opposed to, oh, he's going to jail. Yeah. Oh, he did something criminal. People yeah. feel differently about it. It's like a guttural reaction. Yeah, but how many accusations reaction. does one person have to have well, before he, you're waiting for the, the courts to Well, he to has 44 it. in state and 44 in yeah. federal. But yeah. what I will say about this thing in New York, if he were to become president, which is unprecedented that we have a... Well, say God right. forbid. As right. My mother used to go, say God yeah, forbid. God forbid. So My mother says the same thing. Right, yes. right, 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 right. God forbid... <laughs> He cannot pardon himself on a state charge. But he can so, do it on a federal charge? Yes, he yes. can. Yeah. That's so why this County is, whoever did that's that. Why Nobody Georgia, had to and, and that's why this case is actually very important. And Stormy Daniels is now a very important witness, yes. by the way. Yeah. But I don't know. Doesn't it freak people? Is it not freaking people out how we're talking about this? This is a man mm -hmm. yes. who said, I'm going to perpetrate a... Uh, a coup. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the country. Now, when I was a kid, <laughs> no, nobody, you, if somebody had said that, yes. your face would fall off. Your yes. head would explode. Yes. But we talk about this like it's normal now. Mm. Well, we don't this think it's is, normal. No, but this is yeah. an issue. Yeah. This is not normal. Yeah. It is not normal <laughs> to say yeah. that doesn't count when it's been fair and legal. Mm. It's not normal. No. Well, it, just to be you clear, I, I, I believe the legal system and all of this is important. Yes. I think how it affects voters is, is No, different. but it, what, what, how it just affects me. I'm going to get to her. My God, guys, <laughs> I'm going to get to her. May I finish my point, or you want me to just jump now? Whoopi is not in the mood today. I'm not. <laughs> For your shenanigans. I'm, not. I'm, trying, you know, I'm trying to do everything everybody wants, but, you know, I, I never mind. Go ahead, son. <laughs> I have a legal note, everyone. No kidding. <laughs> Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has pleaded not guilty Duh. to all 88 charges. 88. So we needed to do that because y'all weren't aware that we just said it was 88 <laughs> charges. He, you didn't know he didn't even say, no, I'm not guilty.